speaker is uh, Dolph Zantinge. Dolph is an entrepreneur with a background in fiber optics, telecommunication, artificial intelligence, and data mining. For a tech heavy career, Dolph's career took an unusual turn and delved into the impact of electromagnetic frequencies on biological systems. This led to further research and phonotics, physiology, light, and water. He partnered with Eric Lerarker to develop the technology to create full spectrum coherent water and measure its positive effects on biological systems. He's passionate about providing holistic and natural solutions to counter the impact of electromagnetic radiation on our health and consciousness. Dolph is also the co-founder of Water and Light, BV Netherlands and representing, uh, representing Analema in Europe and Somarka in India. His topic for today is full spectrum coherent water influence of influence on health and wellness. Over to you, sir. Good day to you. I, uh, I continue with uh, more or less the uh, outcome of the previous speaker. Let me start immediately with my presentation because we have limited time. Yes, we can see your screen and it's visible. Good. Uh, water is very important as the previous speaker already described, but let me go through it because what we did is we did research on the water with a whole team of scientists, doctors, physicists, biologists for more than 40 years together with universities in the US, Japan, and in Europe, and nowadays also in India. Uh, water is important for what? <clears throat> well, to be honest, you can see it, for instance, when you have snow, but water in in itself is a liquid crystal. And that crystal form can change in just a flash of a second. And why is that important? Well, water is absorbing constantly electromagnetic fields. And uh, for a lot of people, what do we mean with electromagnetic fields? Well, we are constantly around, surrounded by electromagnetic fields. The two major ones that we know of is the, for instance, the sun and the moon. If water cannot absorb the heat of the sun, then you cannot heat up water. And the same with the moon, you have the low and the high tide. So constantly water is responding to that, but not only to the sun and the moon, but to many other electromagnetic fields. As a matter of fact, it can absorb all electromagnetic fields. These are the movements of the atom in water. And this became in our laboratory language because these are the H2O, the hydrogen and the oxygen, as you see the two hydrogen ones, but in reality, they make a connection to each other. And the previous speaker already talked about chaotic state. Well, the left one is the chaotic state and the right one is the coherent state. And why is that important? Well, only in the coherent state, water can absorb electromagnetic fields from outside and transport that to a biological system. And not only that, if you calculate here, there's no water bridges in the atoms itself, then you can really calculate that the coherent state has the most energy. And that is playing a major role in every cell in every body, not only in the human body, but in a plant, in the soil, in an animal, everywhere. Water is made in such a way that it constantly can be balanced due normal electromagnetic waves from outside. Even the earth, planets, everything is giving this balance. And that is part of this whole structure. Also, the structure is also formed by the left and the right turning vortexes when it is coming up from a mountain. But each vortex, left and right, has a different effect, by the way, on water. Um, Water absorbs all those waves because every electromagnetic field has a frequency. And uh, a lot of people are not aware of that, but every frequency, all the elements have a specific frequency, the iron, the copper, and water has the ability to work with those electromagnetic fields that also are related to those other frequencies. A lot of people think that we are 70% water. That's not true at all. The reality is this, 99% of your body is a water molecule. 70% is the weight. 
And that is very interesting, especially for doctors, because most people who are sick have a problem in that 1%. The other molecules, like the iron, the oxygen, all those things. But in reality, this is a very strange democracy because nobody ever thought about the fact that the 99% might play a major role in this. And that has to do with this coherent field, as I just showed you. Be aware that, for instance, also your complete DNA string and every cell is surrounded by water. And if water can absorb electromagnetic fields from outside, then you can imagine that if you put in an electromagnetic field from outside and water can absorb that, that it might have an effect on the DNA string, as, by the way, is already proven. Water is also the communicator with a lot of bacteria, and that is one of the biggest topics that is coming up in the coming research. But water is also having a certain memory. So if water is falling down on polluted soil, then a part of that pollution, which is also an electromagnetic field if you translate it, is absorbed by the water and it keeps that water in that specific chaotic field. And that is when we drink it. So it might be cleansed chemically, but in its structure, and that is the biggest difference, in its structure, it can still remain a chaotic piece of water. For many doctors, this is a completely new area because everybody knows nowadays that the microbiome is playing a major role in the health of the human beings. All the bacteria, and we thought we only had a few of them, but at least in the intestine, we have around 1,200 of them. They communicate constantly with the gut and the brain as well, by the way. And not only with that, it gives you the resistance into your body. But water is again playing a major role here because bacteria and water, they have a very close relationship. There is no drop of water in this planet that is without bacteria. And they are balanced, those bacteria, due to the normal natural harmonic waves from the sun and the moon and the earth. But nowadays we have completely new electromagnetic fields around us like mobile phones, and they have an effect upon the electricity capacity of water. And we do know, for instance, now that if the gut is in chaos, then the brain has an effect, a direct effect as well. Another topic, and that is our research for many, many years on this, every cell in the body is filled with mitochondria. We have hundreds of them. When you are just born, you have plenty of them. When you get older, you get less mitochondria. In the mitochondria, you create the ATP, your energy level. Without the ATP, no life possible. So what did we do? We checked. Is there a possibility that water has an effect on ATP? We do know that you cannot swallow ATP from kind of medicine, it must come from itself. And we checked for many, many years, can you change the ATP level of food? And I come later to that also to animals and humans, but first tests were done on food, on particular soil types. Can you create more ATP into a cell? And that is what happened. So certain types of water, if they are not chaotic anymore, but if they have a certain coherent field, then this possibility is possible. But we also found that not every water that is called coherent is really coherent. Most of the waters are only coherent for just a few minutes. So we did a lot of tests, hundreds of tests all over the world. And one of those tests is you see in the right top, you see seeds, wheat seeds. And we gave those wheat seeds tap water and the same tap water after what we call it, we made it coherent again with the device. And then we had two lines, the red one and the blue line. And we wanted to find out what is the difference. We measured that for two months, hundreds of seeds, and this was the outcome in the data. And after checking it with a lot of computer systems, we found out that the blue line, as you can see here, has a connection with the yellow line. Here, top, top, bottom, bottom, and the same here, top, top. 
And we found out that the yellow line was the moon cycle. So real coherent water communicates constantly with the electromagnetic fields from the planet. We did the same with soil. We found out that normal rainwater can hardly do anything in the soil matter. But if the same rainwater is made coherent again, it has a different effect on the bacteria and fungi into the soil. It improved dramatically. Here the fungi end. Here we did as with plants on multiple stages. And what we found is that the light, the biophotons, that is the internal light between the communication between all the chemical processes into every cell, when you make, uh, when you use this water, this coherent water, then it increases dramatically the light. So normal water has an impact, but if the water is made coherent, then it can absorb more electromagnetic fields from Mother Nature, and then it can do its work sometimes two or three times better. Here you see it again. This is very important because this is used as microbiome, but if the microbiome is using coherent water, then the effect on the gut is multiple times bigger. It was even in our case, seven times better. Here in the middle, you can see what we work with light in our laboratory. And you see a dense of white light of the seeds. And that dense increased dramatically. That is the communication of seeds when you give it water. So here you see in this outcome, that the seeds gave more light and more communication and more resistance. It was really important because we also noticed that the food became better. One of the newest research we did was on glycans. Glycans are sugar molecules and um, hundreds of tests all over the world have been done nowadays with glycans because we do know that aging has to do with glycans. So we gave a lot of people tap water and tap water after we made it coherent again. And the outcome was very serious after three months. As you do know, cligons play this role on aging and also on major diseases. And the outcome was uh, quite serious because after three months, we saw that everybody in aging went down, everybody. We have done a study now in India and that will be officially published on the Somarka Analema website in India within a month from now. But we did a clinical study with full spectrum coherent water on the ATP levels on humans. Those are not only on plants, but also on humans. What do we mean with full spectrum? Let me explain it right. You can make water uh, coherent, but what we mean with full spectrum is that it can absorb the full range of the electromagnetic fields from Mother Earth due to the situation on this planet now that is limited. It was a double blind placebo controlled test and the outcome was quite serious because the ATP levels of all the persons, all of them improved dramatically. And as you can see here, also there were no safety concerns at all. The final report will soon be published on our website. Another study in parallel was done on the microbiome. Is the microbiome really responding to water and coherent water? So we gave also here double blind people the ability to use the same water and the same water after we made it coherent. And after three months, we saw an improvement of 38% of the dysbiosis. And that has an absolute improvement of 25%. These are completely new studies that have hardly been done in the world, only based on water and coherent water. And that is why we do all those tests by outside universities or uh, respected organizations that have the ability to do these tests. We also looked at plants, but I'm going to skip that due for the timing. But what we saw is that rainwater, if you put it in danger with the wrong electromagnetic fields, as this 
previous speaker said, if you put electricity around water, then it has a negative effect. And nowadays we did beam a lot of uh, rainwater, beamed it with electricity, but also with certain things like uh, 5G. So we also looked in the university on the brain activity and we continue to do the test, by the way. Nowadays we do it in two locations in the world. But what we notice, the yellow line is the normal line for the brain wave. This is the EEG. And here you see the delta, the theta, alpha, beta. And this is the amplitude for the brain. And what we did is the green part is in balance, blue and red are out of balance. And uh, this is a double twin, this is a twin. And we gave one of those twin water and we gave another twin the same water after it was made coherent. And what happened within half an hour, the brain balance came back by one of the twins. Two weeks later, we gave the other twin the water and then it transferred again in the same situation. Here we have an Alzheimer patient and we saw the effect of electromagnetic fields on the brain with Alzheimer's, it became more red. Then we gave that patient coherent water and suddenly certain parts of the brain became green again. So that's shows that the brain, which is one of the part of the body next to the lungs that has most water in the liquid form, uh, really responds to coherent water. So this is exactly what we have seen all over the last 40 years. Water is that 99% of your molecules into your body and they play a huge, huge role in health. We did the same, and here we introduced electromagnetic fields on Alzheimer patient. We saw that that increased. And again, with water, it could come back if it was made coherent. We did it on multiple people, also on, on people uh, with, with, with much younger age, between 20 and 30. And we constantly see the effect also on our brain on outside electromagnetic fields and water. And uh, we are doing this test now with 30 to 40 people in an academic university, and we can constantly see these effects. So what we see at the moment is that water is playing a critical role, especially when it is made really coherent, and we talk about the full spectrum coherent. And we do know that it constantly communicates with electromagnetic fields. And uh, we have to be very careful also with the energetic pollution that we uh, play with at the moment. But uh, the role of water in the human body is becoming very, very important. And we are very pleased that we could announce this uh, outcome also on this uh, seminar. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we have a, thank you so much, sir, for your insightful session. Uh, we have a question. If full spectr uh, spectrum coherent water is capable of absorbing all spectrums, does the Somarka tube absorb all of the EMF related to negative effects on health as well, like the Wi-Fi in home, the cellular frequencies, etc.? Et uh, this question is from one of our panelists and speaker, uh, Mahesh Jairaman, Mr. Mahesh Jairaman. Yes. Yeah, this is a very good question because if I'm telling you that water absorbs all electromagnetic fields, that it can also absorb those fields. But now there is something very interesting in modern nature. If water has the coherent fields of the net, enough coherent fields of the natural magnetic fields, the sun and the moon and the other of the earth, then it can protect itself. And then you see that it is bouncing back those other electromagnetic fields. So in one of my sheets, I slowed you the rainwater, but there you could also see after that, the, the electromagnetic field on coherent water. So you see that there is an attack, but it is coming back, especially when you put it water or the glass of water, and then it increases. If you put it again back into the sun or in the moon. Thank you, sir. Uh, there's one more question. How is the mother water made from the a uh, Soma, Somarka tube, I guess, yeah. or Samara tube. 
We do know that uh, magnets world, electricity doesn't work. That is really dangerous. The previous speaker already told that, and he's absolutely right in that. Uh, vortexes world, but there is a difference between left and right turning vortexes, by the way. You get different energies. Um, but our water is not made in that way. Our water takes a year because what we have seen is that the sun and the mind, uh, moon cycle, you have to keep that in one way or another in the atomic structure of the water. So what we call the mother water that is in the solarca takes a year before you develop it. It must be made completely done by, by mother nature. And you have to go through an entire cycle of a year. Thank you so much, sir. I guess that's it on the question. Over to you, Dr. Rugi, ma'am. Um, there's one more question. I'm not sure if that's taken, uh, Dr. Krishma. How to make co uh, how is this coherent water different from the sun charged water? Yeah, yeah. structured water. Sun water is an electromagnetic field, but structure water shows that in the water itself, you have the connection between the, the water atoms and the bridges that create coherent fields. The coherent field holds that electromagnetic field from the sun. So you lose the sun if you don't have enough stability into your water. So there is a difference. You need the electromagnetic field from the sun, but the water itself must have a coherent state between the atoms. Okay, all right. So we see that there is some interest in the Q&A uh, where people would want to know about any studies, uh, you know, uh, the ones that you referred to, if they can, um, you know, get access to those studies. Yes, there is, a, we constantly publish our studies also on analemmas water.com and there we publish and also on Somarca we constantly publish our studies uh, as I told you we uh, will publish two major studies done in India uh, within a month and we continue to do that. Wonderful. Uh, okay I think yeah there's yes. one last question uh, by Sanjay. Have you written any book on coherent water? I've written many books, but not on coherent water yet. No time yet, but uh, we will definitely do that in the near future. I can promise you that. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank sure. you. I'm, I'm sure there will be a lot of people waiting to, you know, read that. And um, you know, with all the information that we've got on water, I mean, it's it's really interesting how how water is often overlooked amongst everything else that we do, you know, to take care of our health. But water, I mean, it's 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 so important. Absolutely, and I'm very pleased that we could tell this to the audience over here. And uh, I uh, really can recommend you that you constantly look to the Somarca website where we publish constantly the latest information. Sure, we'll do that, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.